Animation. Animation is a fantastic creation, right? In forms of animation has been created for our Spider-Man, from flip books to CGI. It's amazing how it went from this simple thing that scared so many people to the massive influence in media it is today. I'm focusing on the style of animation, drawn animation. And a, a good examples of drawn animation are The Oaks of Cat and Murta Known with Di the original Disney cartoons. Let's take a look back at how this style of animation began by going to the beginning. Started in 1833, Joseph Plateau had created the first form of motion picture known as Vena Anarchistiscope. Use a cardboard disc with cutout slots to create a form of illusion of movement. Later in 1834, the zoetrope, or known by the creator as the Dedos, or the Wheel of the Devil, it worked similarly to the Anarchistiscope, but instead the frames were drawn, drawn on a strip and spun around on a drum. The faster the spin, the smoother the movement. Go further into 1877, the Practinoscope, this device beat the issue with the image distortion when viewing through the slots. The device was created by Emile Reynaud. A brief part of the history is how we understand how animation is what it is today. Animation is where it is mostly because of a brilliant fellow, the creator of Felix the Cat, Otto Mosmer. As a kid, he enjoyed drawing a lot, and as you can see, he made his famous hobby into one of the greatest forms of media today. One of the turning points of animation is the first ever proper fully animated feature known as Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs by animation juggernaut Disney. It's a bit of a pattern with other animated, drawn animated movies by Disney. Mary Sue of the Princess. Evil Queen, that one or both parents missing or dead, and Prince Charming. The list can go on and on about the greatest pieces of animation, but now we need to move on to contemporary animation and their creators and some of the techniques and styles. But before I go on, to, I go on about contemporary animators, I need to go over what contemporary means. Putting a brief is living or occurring in the present day where I was made and set it. Yeah. A good example of this would be the Monty Python. Now that show is crazy. It has a bit of surreal feel to it. As if you have just done acid, which that is how it is contemporary. As I said, contemporary is living or occurring or set in the set in the time period that I was made in and the Monty Python was first created during the mid to the early 1960s which that part of time was a heavily drug influence and one of the biggest drugs being acid or LSD hence why a lot of things in the Monty Python connected with so many people during then Thoughts of You by Ryan Woodward on YouTube, a video uploaded on the 4th of December 2010. It's a brilliantly done drawn animation about a man, a woman, dancing together. The man being, in a sense, love-struck and determined. Whereas the woman appears to be more light-hearted, carefree, and so on. Monty Python's American Fence to Face by Terry Gilliam, which is an animated propaganda against communism, designed as a two-faced ad, being released in 1971 during the Cold War between America and Russia, and Russia being mostly controlled by communism. Communism. Two techniques that are brilliant for drawn animation are flip books and cell animation. Now, the way flipbooks work is that it's a relatively primitive form of animation, going along with the illusion of movement, with a page having a single drawing, a single drawing on each page.
Now for Cell Animation. Animation is some of the first episodes of The Simpsons. Back before animations were done on computers, they were mostly done in, proce in a process similar to flipbooks, but with the backgrounds remaining the same. And having four or more layered sheets of thin translucent plastic or tracing paper, with one layer having the initial drawing, the layer underneath having the colours, the one that's behind both of them is the one with a sketched and they are placed on top of a drawing with the background. 